A budget HK416 is very difficult to make in Escape from Tarkov, but if you are interested in a budget build for the HK416, you should definitely watch this video. Dear comrades, Ivan the German is back for you and today we are talking about another HK416 budget build. Under my first video about a budget build for the HK416, I received a lot of comments about the 16.5 inch barrel for the HK416. And I am Hoshi made a really good comment and he posted an almost complete list to build a very nice and decent HK416 budget build in Escape from Tarkov. And that's the topic of today's video. So grab a beer or two, grab a drink and enjoy this video. Let's jump right into the build. So this is the build over here. As you can see, we have 60 ergo and 51 vertical recoil. In my opinion, pretty decent, pretty average and you can run this build quite well. And it's not that expensive as you may think. So this build is very decent and we have the 16.5 inch barrel. So let's talk about the prices real quick because the HK416 can be very expensive if you are doing it wrong. So if I would buy it right now, it would cost me 214k, which is way too much because Peacekeeper, the offer from Peacekeeper is way too high. And furthermore, you will buy a lot of items twice. Like, you will get the gas block from your stock HK, you will get a upper receiver, you don't need that, you don't need a buffer tube. Price for the parts is around 100k and this is pretty decent. And for the HK, go to the flea market and you can buy it for 60k, which is way cheaper than the offer from Peacekeeper. So what are the details about this build? You can switch the anti force suppressor, I will show you that later on. And what you also can do, you can change the Midwest rail to save a little bit more rubles. So what you can do is play the stock rail, the quad rail, and you can put any grip on the gun and you will lose a little bit ergo, but you will save, as I said, some rubles. Furthermore, the Hera arms grip is quite decent because it is very cheap and it will give you some more ergonomics, but that's basically it. So what you also can do is you can change the anti force suppressor with the RC2 suppressor. It is a little bit more expensive, I guess like 5k difference, but you will have a little bit more ergonomics, which is great. Furthermore, if you're buying the stock HK416, you will get a 14.5 inch barrel and you can sell it for 15k, so you will reduce your costs. So, and that's how I run this build with the RC2 suppressor and this build is very great. Let's talk about magazines real quick. You have several options like the normal PMAG, only minus three ergo. Then we have the PMAG Gen 3 W magazines with a minus 35% check speed modifier. Then we have the HK Steel Max, uh, only minus three ergo, but you will receive a minus 10 load unload modifier. These magazines are great in my opinion. Also the Battle Max, only minus two ergo and minus 10 load and unload modifier. So in my opinion, the better 60 round max are the 60 round Stanag Max because you will lose a little bit more ergo, but you can reload those max quite quicker compared to the PMAX 60 rounder. And the only benefit from the PMAG is that you only lose 16, not 18 ergonomics, but look at that load unload modifier, plus 60% from the PMAG 60 round, only plus 20%. So you should also consider mounting a tech light on your gun. You can do that with the 2.5 M-Log rail, just mount that. And right after you can mount a tech light on your gun. So let's check the recoil real quick. First round, as always, no recoil control. So with the 416, we have this very high initial recoil and you have to compare that quite hard. But after that, you will have a laser gun and this firepower is insane. Let's check that out. So in this distance, the HK416 works great in the fully automatic fire mode, but I would say you can shoot it a little bit better while crouching, of course, and you can tap fire quite well. So what is my opinion about this 416 build? I think it's great. It's great because you don't have to spend that much money for the gun itself. Of course, you need a proper scope and you need the ammunition. Every ammunition has its advantage. I like 8.55, 8.1 and 9.95, of course, 9.95 basically shreds everything down. But 8.56 has a okay-ish penetration and a very good damage. 8.55 good penetration and good damage. In my opinion, 8.55 is a very good sweet spot. But 9.95 is insane. You can shred squads quite well. 
but you have a very high firepower with the 416. You have 850 rounds per minute. And of course, if you're playing with six round magazines, even squads aren't that big problem because you have this high firepower, but you can run it also with 30 round magazines. But this HK with the 16.5 inch barrel is very good to push players to hunt them down. You can shoot very, very accurate. You can play it with a well day or some other short dots on woods because this gun is very accurate. And as I said, you have a high firepower. You should use that. So push your enemies, play very aggressive if you can and shred them down. That's my opinion about the 416 in this version. So in the end, this build is insane. You should definitely try that out. Do not forget to like this video and further information. We have a Discord. You can meet players there. You can ask some questions. We have a mark bot. But the most important thing is we are Germans, we don't have any sense of humor, so that's why we need you on our Discord and see you in the next video, guys.